What's up everybody? Polly is here with a new weekly one shot. Uh there it is. Terminal exception. As far as the technicians in the security station knew, it was a Monday like any other. Routine system upgrades in the morning, a quick lunch, maybe foosball game if everything went well. The new analyst, Kim Powell, was along to observe the, uh, along today to observe their work. The glow of the monitors reflected off of her glasses as she quietly took in all the information streaming through the system. Suddenly, a pattern emerged. She spoke with a commanding tone the techs had not heard before. We must leave this room, now! Pars was the last through the door and looked back, already knowing that what she would see, or rather, not see. The station was gone, and the door now led to a precipitous drop. The comms came alive with bunker barking orders, Unity swearing vengeance on whoever did this to her. Pars took a breath and steeled herself for the fight. This one shot requires Mini Pack 1, Wrath of the Cosmos, and Vengeance. So we have Parse, and then the Termination team. So I actually get a, I get a chance at redemption here. So Termination, uh, Absolute Zero, Unity, and Bunker uh, in Freedom Tower against Challenge Mode Deadline. That should be fun. Or painful. One of the two. I don't remember what Challenge Mode Deadline does, so we're going to look at that. It is with great regret that I destroy your civilization, humans. It is the only way. I see through you. Your weaknesses are all too visible. Alright, buddy. What do you do? He is the Radical Peacemonger. At the start of the game, deadline enters play, Radical Peacemonger side up, Atomic Enclave is put into play. At the end of the villain turn, if there are three or more hist Blah. Cannot talk. Catastrophe cards in play. Deadline flips. Otherwise, the top card of the villain deck is played. Villain device cards are, of course, indestructible. There we go. That is... All right. And... Um, where is it? Flip over. Yeah, and then his flip side, he's removing environment cards. And if there are no environment cards in the deck, then we lose. That's That's a thing. So there's the Atomic Enclave, 3 energy damage to the hero with the highest HP. And Unnatural Disaster. Reveal the top 3 cards of the villain deck, put all Catastrophes revealed in play, discard the other cards. So yep, calculated Orogenesis, calculated Orogenesis, and of course he got all 3. Is that that bad? Yes. Ouch. So can I see what was removed from the game? Not really. Alright. Um, discard a card if you do. Destroy an ongoing or environment card. Another villain card enters play. The bottom card of a deck. Then either put it on top or bottom of the deck. Let's do a quick calculation. Very bottom of the deck. I let, I understand critical multipliers actually really good once I get set up, but it's just there are always other cards I want to play. So we're gonna put that in the well. Yeah, we're gonna put that on the very bottom. The reason being is I can prevent him from getting devices if I uh. Oh, nice. We got some good stuff here. Uh, we are going to start with Impale. Um, he has not the highest hit points, so we're going to go ahead and play Risky. Crossbound Drain. Not super great. Um, and or Equipment Cards. Alright, I will trade Bebot for a pylon and okay so that's how that works uh this is irreductible right no it is but his other damage is
Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this power to destroy the auxiliary power source. Let's draw a card first. Okay. We're gonna play grenade launcher. And we're gonna use its power. I mean, not that hitting the glaive will really do me much good. Entry point, entry point, front desk. Legacy's landing pad, increase damage dealt by the target with the highest HP by one, reduce damage to the target with the lowest HP by one. Yuck. Pandemonium key, that was what I was trying to avoid. All right, but that's fine. That actually doesn't do anything. As, all right, so he's gonna hit, uh, he'll hit parse. So pandemonium key only works when environment target enters play. There are no targets. I don't know if he has any other big nasty cards. All right, I'm never gonna use exploit vulnerability. Um, what does this do? At the start of the villain turn, two players plus put one card from their hand on top of their deck and then deals two non-villain targets with the highest HP cold damage. Uh, what do we want to do? I think we are gonna buffer overflow. Actually, I, I should have checked his deck. Targeting arrow? That's, oh, that's gonna be great. Okay. Uh, time for a cryo chamber, and we're going to skip his power this turn. There it is. Construction pylon. Let's use it. Boop. Boop. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shoot him a whole bunch. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's time for heavy blading, and we're gonna we're gonna shoot. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna waste time. There we go. Hotkeys. Gatling gun. I'll use that as discard fodder. Play the top card of the environment deck. Uh, move the. All right, that's that's not going to cause a problem. So, two players have to put one card from their hand on top of their deck. Um. That's actually obnoxious. Parse, go ahead and put an impossible shot. And Unity. Well, actually, that was bad, but I'm going to put Inspired. Mm. I'm going to put Inspired Repair on top. I'm going to just all right, choose for me. What does Severed Leyline do? Start of the villain turn, each player shuffles their trash into their deck and Deadline regains two hit points. That's not so bad. Uh, no. All right, at the end of the villain, the Ataxia Sphere, at the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the lowest HP to infernal damage. The character card is dealt damage this way. That hero player must shuffle, either discard one card or shuffle their trash into their deck. Yes, we discard the Ataxia Sphere. And that is why I kept it. The shuriken. Okay, that's that's obnoxious, but all right. So we're gonna segmentation fault, and we are going to use segmentation fault. I have to discard a card to do it. Oh no! Exploit vulnerability. All right, isotherm transducer, and skip. Oh, nice. So this destroys a mechanical golem, shuffles it into the deck, move one mechanical golem from your trash into play, and then I draw a card. Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to, what does this do? Each player may draw one card. We're going to skip Unity's play, eh, we might as well play this. 
Um, I'm gonna destroy B-Bot. This will do some damage to Deadline, and I can get rid of the other Hurricane. Volatile Parts, and Raptor Bot. And then we shoot him some. Because I've actually grown to really like Unity. When she gets going, she gets going. Uh... As much as I like Gatling Gun. Well, I might as well. I might as well play Auxiliary Power Source. Use this. I'm going to shuffle, cycle through some of my cards. Draw a card first. Um, you don't play a card. And use a power. And stop zone damage. Ammo drop. And I have to discard a card. Boom. Alright, uh, who wants to draw cards? Uh, Absolute Zero needs to, because there are cards he needs to play. Uh, Bunker should. And... Unity? Unity's got stuff to do. Let's give it to Parse. Skip the rest. The Ataxia Sphere! Oh, this is bad. Uh, yes. Yes. Alright, that needs to go. So, as we remember, this just, this deals uh, one cold damage and increases all cold damage by one to everything. And this puts uh, the top of each trash pile under its associated deck. How did the attacks here come out? I'll have to look that back over and post. Alright, each player shuffles their trash into their deck and Deadline regains two hit points. Okay. That doesn't bug me too much. Uh, this one's annoying, isn't it? Start the villain turn, discard the top two cards of each non-villain deck, and destroy two hero ongoings and or equipment. Yeah. Uh, bunker, because you have armor. Yes. Boop. Um... Crap, I don't have a way of destroying those. Um, how much damage can I really put out? Not a whole bunch. He's going to flip next turn. Which is going to wreck all of my robots. So let's get Targeting Arrow up now. Um, and I do want to destroy one of those. Just so we don't have to deal with all of them. Is he going to... Hmm. When he flips... Next to Deadline. Oh, cool. The end of the villain turn, destroy all environment cards. Okay. So, yeah, it's gonna hurt, but... I'd like to get rid of, uh... This. First. Alright, so... That's gonna hit him. And we're just gonna maximize damage here. Hit him for another three. And do not use your power. All right. Let's play Volatile Parts, because it's going to come in handy. Then put up two Mechanical Golems in play. Raptorbot, you are going to wreck so much face here. Ooh, Modular Workbench. Alright, so that's five damage. Now that's now up to ten. Raptorbot's doing seven. And here's three. Hmm. It is time for an ammo drop. As much as I'd like the plus one damage from turret mode, it's time for ammo drop. Especially because he's going to destroy three cards and that'll start giving me stuff back. Just discard a card. Let's buy ammo drop. 
Okay, Unity needs a card. Supply crate. Uh, Absolute Zero still needs a card. And... Parse. Skip Bunker. Entry point. Oh! Um... So how does this work? Each non-villain target, X irreductible damage. X number of catastrophe cards destroyed this turn. Ugh. Oh, he's not gonna... He's not gonna flip. So let's cover... Crowd Chamber's gonna hurt him even more. So let's cover up Legacy... Oh no, Legacy Landing Pad's gonna be useful. Let's cover up the front desk. Because it's been hurting us. Yes. All right, uh, choose for me. All right. First deck from which to discard two cards. It doesn't matter. Destroy the first card. Um, I think let's lose Cryo Chamber. And let's lose Volatile Parts. Oh, that's annoying. Each turn. Oof. Raptor Bot? I am angry now. Alright, each turn. Well, I think he's still going to be in trouble. Because we're going to... Uh, uh, no. Well, yes. I draw a card. And now I get to do that again. And we're just going to blitz him. Because... That blocks that damage. One non-hero where X the amount of quarter damage has been dealt to absolute zero. No. Nope. To three targets, one cold damage each, and deals himself uh, fire damage. Yeah, so this is the one I want. Play this, and use the power. I'm going to hit Deadline. We're going to hit the Glaive. And we're going to hit the Key. He's going to take it. There we go. Not feeling too good, are you, buddy? Let's play Supply Crate. Inspired Repair. Nice. Is there any... There are... I mean, it doesn't matter, but... We're just gonna skip an end. That blocks one. Nope. And... Nope. That's game. I like the termination variants. Oh, your sphere broke. There we go. Mint condition uh, tech, uh, terminal exception. That was fun. Uh, I don't feel like it really got it close. We had a we had a good team and a lot of damage. So, and fortunately, most of these heroes had damage coming from multiple sources each turn. So when he got that armor off, it went away. I do want to find out how that sphere came up, came about. That's one of the problems of holding shift. Is not really pay, or uh, tab. While I'm doing this is it speeds through some things that catch me off guard but it also makes the videos go by it, it makes it yeah the slow parts go by faster anyway thanks so much for watching everyone this has been polius playing uh weekly one shots sentinels of the multiverse the video game i'll see you all next time